Welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you've decided to join me for another reading of a Christmas story from the public domain. This is story number three and it is called The First Christmas Tree. It's rather short, in fact very short, and a little less emotional as story number two. <laughs> so without further ado, I shall begin. The First Christmas Tree by Lucy Wheelock Two little children were sitting by the fire one cold winter's night. All at once they heard a timid knock at the door, and one ran to open it. There, outside in the cold and darkness, stood a child with no shoes upon his feet and clad in thin, ragged garments. He was shivering with cold, and he asked to come in and warm himself. Yes, come in, cried both the children. You shall have our place by the fire. Come in. They drew the little stranger to their warm seat and shared their supper with him and gave him their bed while they slept on a hard bench. In the night, they were awakened by strains of sweet music. And looking out, they saw a band of children in shining garments approaching the house. They were playing on golden harps, and the air was full of melody. Suddenly, the strange child stood before them, no longer cold and ragged, but clad in silvery light. His soft voice said, I was cold and you took me in. I was hungry and you fed me. I was tired and you gave me your bed. I am the Christ child, wandering through the world to bring peace and happiness to all good children. As you have given to me, so may this tree every year give rich fruit to you. So saying, he broke a branch from the fir tree that grew near the door, and he planted it in the ground and disappeared. And the branch grew into a great tree, and every year it bore wonderful fruit for the kind children. Short and sweet, beautiful, and just makes you sigh with an inner glow of happiness. At this story, at the season, at the reason for the season. So thank you for staying with me through this story. And until I read another, I bid you good day and Merry Christmas. Thank you.